Virgos. Happy birthday, Virgos. I do love you, by the way, very much. You, of course, it's your birthday. And so what you're changing in this first week is what you become to yourself. Have you become an a-hole to yourself? Become an angel to yourself? Become a servant to yourself? I become a servant to myself. I make myself, as I would say, I work for the worst boss, worst boss in the world. He's an asshole. It's like, who do you work for? I work for myself. You know, that's Virgo. You have not become something great to yourself. What you become to yourself is, I would say, not pretty. And that, no matter who you are, I, it can get prettier. It can be nicer. It can be more roses. So this isn't how you respond to yourself. When you say, oh, I'm an idiot, well, then you just became an idiot. You literally are, because you're the I become, if you put yourself down, you become it. You can't do it. You have that's a power. You're using your magic wand on yourself and turning yourself into a frog. So it's time to become who you want to become, not who you, not the person that you think will win the race or, you know, or make the most money or make so-and-so happy because you, there's an obsession there to make people happy. Another story. Now, on the other side of that is, you know, the Pisces energy is it's time to let go of all the cords and all the heated stuff and all the, you know, all the hard stuff around relationships. It's okay around relationships. You know, um, the way you were with yourself, it's okay. You are learning to let all those relationship things go, all those cords go, so you can become this new person, the I become state of awareness. You can become someone different. And when you become someone different, someone else will come in. All right. Now, the Jupiter square, uh, Jupiter and Gemini square to that opposition <clears throat> is that you're thinking differently about the future. And so God universe is scrambling your eggs to think differently about the future, have different ideas. You're, you know, when I said some people believe they can't, you know, the world's this way and some are going to change. That's you. You're the one that does that the most. And so your mind needs to think differently about what's possible. I will just say happily, you're wrong. <laughs> you are wrong. I know you're wrong because Jupiter's in that space. So when you're trying to become the new you and you're trying to be easy on you, also realize you're not so, you're not so sure on what the future can be. It's a lot more greater, different, exciting than you may think Jupiter. So watch your thoughts around whether or not it's encouraging your dreams or discouraging your dreams. That's ultimately, I think, the magic that you have to follow. It's serious joy, joy, joy.